Okay, here's our decoiler. Um, you can see you, you put your coil on there. Here's how you expand it or shrink it. We'll go down so you can see. Shrink it down, put your coil on, and then you tighten it up again. And as, as I'm turning this, you can see these are moving out further, the larger diameter. Um, this is the brake, so that it doesn't spin freely and just freewheel. You can tighten this up however much you need to just, to, just to keep a slight tension on the coil. You can turn the coil with this handle, or you can also hold it while somebody else tightens up the, the arbor. The, you take the nuts off the brake, and then you can lift the whole arbor out to put another coil on, um, and then set it right back in. You don't have to do anything with the bearings. The bearings just set in place. And then you put the brake back on and snug it down. Okay. What's the size? <clears throat> uh, we can go out to a 24 inch uh, okay. inside coil. Then I'll go down. Just take it down. It'll be down as small as 16 inch, just slightly mm -hmm. less than 16 inch, mm -hmm. and it is 5 feet long, 60 inches clearance between it. See? 8 ton. Great, thank you.